Hey, this is CrossFitTracking.com. I just wanted to give a brief overview of what the training effect, training load, and training status looks like because it's come up a lot in the CrossFit recommendations for watches that um, better track your effort and exertion for doing CrossFit. So the whole thing you can see, so right now, I'm utilizing the venue as well as the Phoenix 6 and I'm going to show you a couple workouts and what the differences look like. Um, so if we just go to yesterday morning's CrossFit, when you go into the venue, you get your basic summation of calories, time, and average heart rate. The heart rate tracking has been effectively great, but you only get these three main components. A lot of people ask, well, they don't have a specific dedicated workout that's titled CrossFit, but a lot of that doesn't really matter because you're not tracking along GPS, you're not moving along elevation differences, although we'd still see it if you did, um, because you're really just tracking heart rate and how long you're in the zone and almost most of all of the you know workouts that are available. So that's what you see when you go into a full CrossFit workout. Um, I did, you know, a six minute, as many rounds as possible, and then a 12 minute. So you can see just the different levels there. Um, I did the double, uh, the online, the Rogue Invitational online qualifier, but then this is what you see when you go into a 6S. And I have this paired with the chest strap because I wanted to get the most out of it. So you see a similar chart. Obviously, the heart rate tracking is going to be a lot more smooth if you use a chest strap, and this is connected to an Ant Plus chest strap. Um, you get things that somewhat to me are irrelevant, like the temperature, and you get a much more accurate heart rate zone. Um, but this is what comes from a basic workout. You can just basically see that you're improving VO2 max and some anaerobic benefit to the type of activity. So the primary difference in what you see from one of the higher level analytic watches, which includes the 245, 945, and all the Phoenix series, but does not include the Venue, um, the 45, 45S, and the, uh, the new Lux, um, I forget what the watch name is, but it's the Lux, and it has all the same quality components as the other Garmin's do, it just is in a different package. So. That's what happens here, so you can close that out. But what happens when you go to see the tracking mechanism for like your overall output is as long as you're running a couple times, this is what I always say, or at least I've realized recently, just run a couple of half miles before you go into a CrossFit training session and it'll populate this training status here on the main page. Um, one of the things you can see in the training status is that I've been overreaching, so I was sick um, and I don't know why the Phoenix, um, I don't know that it even is still available. Yeah, maybe it still has some availability, but um, the original Phoenix 6 that I tested didn't flow through, uh, and I can't explain that. But either way, um, it shows the productivity as well as when you hit the, the limit for overreaching. So it obviously will break it down and this is only available on the 245 this actually was not even available on the 245 it's only available on the 945 and the whole six series um but the specifics so anaerobic high aerobic and low aerobic when i'm over killing the high aerobic obviously i've been doing crossfit all week um, outside of a mountain biking session yesterday. You can see the exercise load. It tells you what the type of load is. Um, I like this because you can see what workout contributed most to your overall um, seven day load. So this is what tracks your output effort over the course of seven days and even it goes back much further. Um, but each of the exercises you do have a load score. And that flows through to your seven day load. And it really is an evaluation for how much strain your body is under. So it is helping you to evaluate if you're hitting it hard and going back to back days, hitting it hard with longer um, workouts, longer Metcons, and then it'll, it'll reflect because your volume will build. As your fitness gets better, your optimal range will improve as well. Mine was in a low setting because I went from an injury and then different parts over the holidays as well as a sickness, um, which has now come back, which is just fabulous. 
Um, heat acclimation, I don't think that matters too much, but one of the benefits to CrossFit tracking, why these other versions of the Garmin watches are better, is that it does calculate your load. So it, it takes all of those different components and puts it into um, an evaluation for how much strain you're under over a period of time, as well as it calculates you know, what type of load. So um, the biking yesterday must be this one showed a more of a low aerobic impact so i was able to put some points on the board with that one um but these are all important in seeing so you know some of the fancier watches like the phoenix 6 success and i believe 945 you can actually put in a mountain biking icon it doesn't actually track anything different a lot of these metrics are what you would see on the venue outside of training effect um, so you see a lot of these in temperature a lot of these same tracking things, although it's got a fancy title of this is a mountain biking workout, um, it doesn't track a whole lot different. And I'll show you that in one second. But training effect and the anaerobic training effect, it can do, you know does show you the respiration rate. But this is the bread and butter of why this extra version of the calculation is so much more pertinent or useful. And then you can see the... Um, the differences in what the venue outputs. So this is actually important if you're making a decision. So you still see the elevation, heart rate, time in the heart rate zone, and the speed. You just don't see training effect. You don't see training status. Training status is simply this page here that says, where are you at? Are you underproductive? Are you productive? Or are you overreaching? And I'm considerably overreaching from where I was before. And then the training load, which is just more of a deeper dive into how much load you're on, you're placing your body on over the week. So this gives you a little bit of perspective. This shows you the added values, which I believe are fundamentally important for tracking your CrossFit production or productiveness. Um, as well as load, intensity of the workouts, the workouts effect on your, on your uh, body, and then obviously tying in the health aspects like body battery to see, you know what the what the level of regeneration, level of strain that the day is having on you. But again, thanks so much, CrossFitTracking.com.